Hello friends, I am here with my channel Solving Questions with Dorima. Here we solve questions from various MSc entrance examinations. The question for today's video is from JNU entrance for MTech Biotechnology 2018. Peptide bonds absorb light at which one of the following wavelengths? The options are 280 nanometer, 260 nanometer, 205 nanometer or 320 nanometer. So let's find what are peptide bonds and what is the wavelength at which it absorbs the light. Yes, when we say peptide bond, it is formed between two amino acids. Amino acid 1 and amino acid 2. They, when these are linked together, there is a liberation of water molecule and the formation of peptide bond is there. This is a CN, o, C double bond O and NH. This bond is a peptide bond. This is a linear bond and it is having a partial double bond character. Because of this, the rotation at the peptide bond is not allowed. When protein have to go for the secondary structure, the rotation of the peptide bond at the peptide bond is not allowed in a protein secondary structure. So if we think in reference to the wavelength absorption of peptide bond, we find three things. Peptide bond itself, due to the presence of carbonyl group, absorbs light at 185 to 200 nanometer. If the amino acid, if the protein is having amino acids as phenylalanine, tyrosine or tryptophan in it, then that protein shows absorbance in between 260 to 280 nanometer. Whereas in third case, Biuret test is used for the detection of the peptide bond and uh, for the detection of biuret test the wavelength used is a 540 nanometer. This is not given in our option. So we need to go to the option which is nearer to the 185 to 200 nanometer wavelength. So the correct answer for the question becomes option C that is 205 nanometer is the wavelength at which peptide bond absorbs the light. Now it's time to have a question for my next video. The question is from JNU entrance for biotechnology 2018. Which of the following antibiotic is an inhibitor of RNA synthesis? tetracycline, streptomycin, bacitracin or rifamycin. We will solve this question in my next video. Till then, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and also to hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching.